Hello and welcome to the first edition of Popular Speed Report in 2014. I'm Chase Wilhelm. Alongside me is Popular Speed's Matt Weaver. Now, Media Day just wrapped up yesterday and we had the first two practice sessions for the Sprint Unlimited, which is tomorrow, Saturday night. What did we learn? Uh, the beginning of the season, everybody's ready to go. Everybody has a lot of excitement and anticipation for the season. What are some things that you learned? Well, you just said it. Uh, the main thing that I learned over the past two days, Media Day, Sprint Cup Series practice is Man, I've missed NASCAR. You know, I, I, I went to a lot of races during the off season, a lot of short track stuff, but it gets no more special, no bigger than the bright lights and the, the big stars in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. So that's the main thing I learned is that not only myself, not only you, but all the drivers, all the teams, they missed it too. And, you know, in particular, Tony Stewart, who's been out since mid-season last year, he's ready to get back too. Smoke has risen. And Tony Stewart practicing for the first time, getting in the race car for the first time since August when he injured his leg in Iowa in a sprint car race out there. But looking at him in practice today, in both practice sessions, he felt really comfortable. He even said after he got out of the car that if Greg Zipidelli wasn't going to kill him, he would go out and race some sprint cars over there at Belusa Speedway. Yeah, you know, Tony Stewart's back and he's back with a vengeance. There was a lot of concern, and I'm one of the ones who wrote about it frequently, that I had some hesitations that Tony Stewart was going to hop back into a Sprint Cup Series car and be the smoke that we all know, the three-time Sprint Cup Series champion. Uh, I don't know if Talladega, or rather Daytona, is going to be the, the true test for him. That's a place where you just mash on the gas and you just go. But, you know, if he can come out and avoid a big crash at Daytona and stay healthy, uh, then you start to look at Phoenix and Las Vegas, places where you play with the throttle. And that's going to be, in my opinion, the true test for Tony Stewart. But it's going to be really interesting to see him back in action. And if he can go out and win the Sprint Unlimited and make a major statement, that's a big thing for Smoke Nation. Now lots of headlines as we go into the first race of the season, the preliminary race tomorrow <laughs> night in the Sprint Unlimited. But let's focus on the actual race, the actual cars, okay? Like I said, two practice sessions today. Dale Jr., led, Dale Earnhardt Jr. led the first one and then Denny Hamlin led final practice. What are your thoughts on the race? Who do you think is going to be fast? And, and especially with the fans getting to, to decide a lot of the format and, and how the, the drivers even, where they start, what kind of race do you think this is going to provide tomorrow night? That's the great mystery, Chase. We have no idea. And I think that's kind of the theme for the 2014 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series season. So many unknowns. The, the, the Gen 6 cars have a slightly new aero package, a uh, new championship format, the Sweet 16 on wheels, as I like to call it, has completely changed the way the drivers may race during the regular season. But this is an exhibition race. It's no points, no wins get you into the chase. It's all about the cash. And so, you know, fans get their vote. They get to decide how they want to line the cars up for the final segment based on the way that they either qualified, final pit stops, or practice. And so it's a big, giant question mark, which generally leads to a lot of excitement and good racing. Well, hopefully we have a special race tomorrow night, and it proves to be very exciting. But they are shutting the lights off on us at New Samaritan Speedway, so I think it's our cue to go, Matt. For the first edition of Popular Speed Report in 2014, with many more to come, I'm Chase Wilhelm alongside Popular Speed's Matt Weaver. We'll see you next time.